Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on digital image processing. I am Dr. Dafda and in this 54th video class of DIP, we will study erosion and dilation and its implementation in MATLAB. Starting with the name, what is the meaning of erosion? Erosion means wearing away or uh, shrinking you can say. For example, in our school, we have studied soil erosion where soil gets washed away, right? So here for digital image processing, the pixel values will get eroded or will change from 1 to 0. And what is the meaning of dilation? Dilation means enlarging or growing for example if you add uh, water inside milk it will get dilated or it will get uh, more in quantity so for uh, morphological image processing by dilation we mean that we will grow the object or we will change the values of some pixels from 0 to 1 okay so let us start starting with the last slide of our previous video class we understood that if this is our image this is the structuring element or uh, template or mask you can say then we keep this mask on the image and if it fits completely then we shade that pixel or give the value 1 to that pixel and if not then we provide the value 0 to that particular pixel so this structuring element will completely fit only at these locations which is marked with a sign in the output image some of the shaded values have become white or one values have become zero that means the object is eroded or the object has shrinked right so these will be the morphological operations that you will be studying in this chapter erosion is denoted by a minus sign inside a circle why obviously because it removes or it subtracts some of the pixel values so you can remember erosion means shrinking or trim or peeled right next is dilation dilation we denote by a plus sign inside a circle a dilation of b where b is the structuring element and a is our original image so here it is denoted by a plus sign because we are adding some values to the pixels you can remember like this that dilation means growing or extending or fattening right so obviously due to erosion the images will get more darker and due to dilation the reverse thing will happen that means the image will become more brighter and the other morphological operations are opening closing hit or miss transformation which we'll be learning in the coming video classes so we'll come back to this slide in the next video class also let's go ahead erosion and dilation are the most basic morphological operations erosion removes the pixels on the object boundaries while dilation does the opposite thing that is it adds the pixel or in fact pixel values to the boundaries of objects in an image and the number of pixels removed during erosion or added during dilation to the objects in an image depends on the size and shape of the structuring element used to process the image and what are the rules for erosion and dilation for erosion the value of the output pixel is the minimum value of all the pixels in the input pixels neighborhood in a binary image if any of the pixels is set to zero the output pixel is set to zero that means if the structuring element is not fitting completely then it will be set to zero the opposite is the rule for the dilation the value of the output pixel is the maximum value Value of all the pixels in the input pixels neighbor for a binary image if any of the pixels is set to value 1 the output pixel is set to 1 that means if we place the structuring element and if any of the value is 1 then the output will be made as 1 just the opposite of erosion okay let us understand erosion first for image a and structuring element b in the z square or 2d integer space that means a binary image right if it is z cube that means it has a values also or it is a grayscale image that is black white and other shade of gray the erosion of a by b is defined as set of all points z such that b translated or shifted by z is a subset of a that means that b is entirely contained within a or it can also be mentioned that erosion of a by b is set of all elements z such that b translated by z intersection of a complement is equal to phi or null set that means b not sharing any common elements with the background ground that is a complement right so it is contained completely within a so what erosion will do erosion is used to shrink or thin objects it reduces the pixels from the object boundary and the number of pixels removed depend on the size of the structuring element for example here the structuring element is having size b by 4 okay so it will erode out b by 4 values from this original image so here you can see that d by 8 d by 8 both the sides as well as up and down is eroded by this structuring element so any pixel in the output image touched by the center of this structuring element is set to on when every point on the structuring element touches a on pixel or one pixel in the original image so this will tend to make the objects smaller by removing the pixels you can see here that this is the size of the original image which is shown with a dashed line and this portion is eroded away now for this structuring element which is elongated structuring element having the same size as the image what will happen this dash is the original image and the size of the structuring element is d by 4 by d so d by 4 means on both the sides d by 8 will be eroded out and d means d by 2 and d by 2 will be eroded out and only a straight line will remain you can understand like this that if you place this elongated structuring element over here 
then if this is the center and all the points of the structuring element is touching one then it will be set to on that means this pixel will be kept one okay and all the other pixels will be set to zero similar things will happen over here and it will be a straight line in the output image but if you keep the structuring element over here then the center is touching the shaded pixels but not all the pixels are touching one so this will be made zero or this will not be selected similarly all other portions of the image will not be selected now for this image our structuring element is a 3 cross 3 square structuring element so it is like this now if you keep this square entirely over here then it is fitting completely so it will select this pixel but if you keep over here it is going outside so this pixel will not be selected and if you keep here this again will be selected why because these are 3 cross 3 if you keep over here again it is fitting complete this also will be selected but this will not be selected this will not be selected this also will not be selected and similarly these pixels will not be selected that means in the output image only these three pixels will be made one and this object has shrink so these other layers are stripped out or you can say peeled out so due to the erosion the holes and gaps between the different regions becomes larger and small details are eliminated similarly this object will be shrink i hope it is clear so this is our original image if we carry out a erosion by 11 cross 11 structuring element then we can see that all these thinner lines will go away as well as this very thick lines will also become very thin lines but if we again increase the size of the structuring element from 11 cross 11 to 15 cross 15 even these lines will be removed and if we further increase the structuring element size by 45 cross 45 you can see that all the objects are removed from the image except the center that also is stripped down okay so here the erosion is performing the function of a line field okay, it is filtering out the lines you can see let us solve an example of erosion use the following structuring element to erode the binary image below so this is a elongated structuring element which is our b and this is our image a and we have to find out a erosion of b so if we keep the structuring element over here then it is fitting completely all the values are one so we will keep this pixel as one similarly now say we keep our structuring element over here it is not fitting completely why because this is zero right so that means this one will become zero right similarly this will also not be selected so in the output image only these ones will remain as one and all other values will become zero hence our image is eroded now let us understand dilation with a and b as two sets in z square the dilation of a by b is defined as a dilation of b set of elements z such that b cap of z intersection of a is not equal to phi in this equation b cap of z simply means taking the reflection of b that is structuring element about its origin and shifting by z hence dilation of a with b is a set of all displacements z such that b cap and a overlap by at least one element it is not equal to phi right so at least one element will be overlapping so this flipping of b about the origin and then moving it past the image a is same as the convolution process right in practice the flipping of b is not always done and what dilation will do dilation adds pixels to the boundaries of objects in an image and obviously the number of pixels added depends on the size and shape of the structuring element so this dilation can also be defined as set of elements z such that b cap of z intersection of a is a subset of a now this is our image a and this is the structuring element b which is same as b cap of size d by 4 so when the dilation is done the image will grow by d by 8 on both the sides why because d by 8 plus d by 8 is equal to d by 4 upside as well as down also the original object was of size shown with this dash while the object in the output image is the enlarged or grown object and if we do the dilation by a rectangular structuring element which is equal to d by 4 by d then it will grow by d by 2 upside and down because this is d and it will grow by d by 8 on both the sides because this is d by 4 so here the structuring element need not fit as the erosion right but here the structuring element just need to touch the object say this is our input image and this is the structuring element that we are using so in the input image this is 100 zero, zero. but as the structuring element is touching this one this output value will also become 1 so this 0 will transform to 1 because as per the rule it will assign the maximum value so here the maximum value is 1 similarly if it is a grayscale image then it will assign the maximum value out of the three values so here the values are 15 14 14 so maximum value is 15 so here this 14 will be assigned the value 15 because it is the maximum value what is the application of this dilation this dilation can be used for bridging gaps for example in the broken characters or unclear characters so here we can see a text with broken characters and when we apply dilation the e letter as well as a letter was broken and here they are joined why because dilation grows 
द ऑब्जेक्ट राइट लेट अस सॉल्व वन एग्जांपल ऑन डायलेशन यूज द फॉलोइंग स्ट्रक्चरिंग एलिमेंट टू डायलेट द बाइनरी इमेज बिलो सो से वी कीप दिस स्ट्रक्चरिंग एलिमेंट ओवर हियर सो एज दिस स्ट्रक्चरिंग एलिमेंट इज नॉट टचिंग एनी वन द वैल्यू विल केप्ट एज जीरो ओके बट लेट अस कीप द स्ट्रक्चरिंग एलिमेंट ओवर हियर व्हिच इज टचिंग दिस वन so this zero will become one or will be selected as well as this zero will also will become one this will become one and this will become one why because one is touching the structuring element so these all will become one so in the output image you can see that so in this way we obtain a dilated image a dilation of b like this now this erosion and dilation follow the property of duality so duality means one operation can be written in terms of other but this does not however mean that they are opposite dilation and erosion are related as follows in other words dilating the foreground is the same as eroding the background but the structuring element reflects between the two likewise eroding the foreground is same as dilating the background so here a is our image and if we are dilating the foreground it is similar to eroding in the background okay so background is a complement and this is erosion but b will be a reflection of b that is the structuring element reflects between the two so this figure shows we can use both erosion and dilation to separate out some specific objects for example these larger squares so all these squares are having values 1 3 5 7 9 and 15 the largest one are 15 and if we carry out the erosion of this image a with a structuring element of 13 cross 13 only 15 value pixels will remain they are larger than 13 so all other pixels or boxes will erode out later using the same structuring element of 13 if we dilate them then we can enlarge the boxes and obtain the same original boxes or larger boxes in the output image let us implement erosion and dilation in matlab we are reading an input image blobs.png which is the inbuilt image of matlab and we are subplotting in one of the portions out of three portions and then we are using a rectangular structuring element of 5 cross 5 and eroding it using im erode displaying it and then dilating it using im dilate and again displaying it let us run the program and see the output so this is our original image and after erosion we can see that all these lines which are thin are eroded away even this square as well as these lines have also become thin and dilation will grow the size and you can see that the size of all these lines which are thin over here has become thick over here now let us change the structuring element from 5 by 5 once to 15 cross 15 and let us again run the program and see the output So now we can see that all the portions from the image is removed and just this small circle has remained this circle okay which was very large over here has become very small over here but it has remained since it was a larger circle and all the other values have eroded out or washed away you can say right whereas the reverse thing has happened in the dilated image almost all the lines are so fattened that they are touching each other so in this way we can implement erosion and dilation in matlab so that is all for this video class thank you very much